five. Okay. Good. Good morning, everybody. Sean Hogan here at our Ledbetter World Headquarters, joined by my colleague, Andrew Oliphant. Thank you, Sean. You're very welcome. Hey, welcome to the world's biggest golf clinic. Uh, we want to say a big shout out to our colleague and our director of our Ledbetter Kids worldwide, Gavin Greenville, and his team in the UK. Uh, and to all our fellow pros around the world, your families and your friends, we wish you uh, very uh, good health, be safe, be smart at the moment. We're trying to get through this COVID. It looks like we're on the back side of it and uh, hopefully we'll be getting back to normal here as the summer unfolds. But today's world's biggest golf clinic, some great causes today, right? Both, sure. both in the UK, we've got the National Health Service, Canada, really all over the world. And then direct relief here in the US. So for any of you watching at the moment, our little putting clinic, Please feel free to go on www.worldsbiggestgolfclinic and please donate what you can, what you feel is appropriate. We sincerely appreciate it. It's for those folks in the front line dealing with this issue and uh, we really appreciate what they're doing, especially in our health services all around the world. So, Never has been so much written and filmed and talked about, I think, than just rolling a ball along a putting green. Right? I mean, it's amazing. I mean, as long as this game's been around, we're talking putting. I mean, it's it's just uh, it's it's almost a game within the game, as they've said before. So, uh, I think that's a true statement. One of our top players that David's worked with, Mark McNulty, made that comment, and a fine putter. And really, it's it's only really two elements you're dealing with: roll, okay, so speed, and line, and that's never changed. I think. Um, it's probably a part of the game that most players, most recreational players, Andrew, I think uh, it, there's no reason any player that takes up the game can't be at least a decent putter. Maybe not tour level, but certainly a decent putter. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? Uh, one thing I like is I see players get out and they putt. You know, certainly in the UK, we've got those parks that I'm sure everyone's trying to get out to. And you see families go out, rent a putter, and then go out and putt. Yeah, it's not a long driving tournament where we're trying to hit it 350, but everyone's got this physical ability to go out and get better at putting. Absolutely. I mean, when you look at it, really, all we're doing is classic sort of pendulum motion, isn't it? Putter's just its own momentum, allowing it to go back and allowing that same momentum on its way through, and that gives you your speed. Obviously, for shorter putts, we're going to have a shorter swinging action to the putter, longer putts longer action producing more momentum but to your point I mean uh, certainly growing up in Ireland uh, first couple of clubs I had were a wedge and a putter and spent hours on our putting green at my home course there with my friends and uh, having putting and chipping contests so for any of the younger players watching you want to have uh, in, in those early days build that confidence with the flat stick and to that end because even at the top level of the game it's going to be your 40% stick more or less of your total score, you really want to make a good investment. I mean, sure, it's, there's so many good styles of putters and makes and brands, but if there's one club in the bag for sure that you want to get fit for, it's the putter. I mean, I think it goes without saying, get measured, um, get fit. There's a couple of different styles of putter. You've got, say, a, a classic blade Pretty toe traditional, hang. traditional, yeah. Um, you know, with the, this neck it was um, inspired many years ago by by ping golf company and uh, i think it's been copied by every other company but very traditional style you've gone for something a little bit more modern yeah and and ideally a lot of players want to go especially players that you know aren't aren't very proficient with their putting maybe a, a face balance putter where the uh, the face is looking skyward yours more of a toe hang putter you see that with maybe uh more elite type players and you know, tigers put with one one of those all his years. So for most players, if you want to set up here, most players, you look at the top players in the world, they're going to be operating at a clip inside around seven, eight feet at 80%. So for most players, just practicing inside, say five feet and dialing that confidence in from short range, Andrew, that's really one of the biggest keys. Uh, you don't need to go out to say 10, 12, 15 feet 
and expect to build your confidence. You're gonna miss more of those than you'll make just like tour players. We certainly wanna have opportunities from that range, but being really good for most recreational players inside five feet, absolutely key. So we've chosen about a three, three and a half foot cut here. One of our, uh, one of our, uh, so the one suggestion we, one of our, uh, one of our uh, partners, our teaching aid partners, Eyeline Golf, they do a great little rectangular mirror, fits in your golf bag. I see a lot of tour players that we work with with some type of training device to help them QC, that's quality control, their setups. So with the Eyeline mirror, you're able to see, okay, is my blade square? Can I start the ball online? A couple of simple setup cues. The mirror's gonna give you feedback if you like your eyes say over the ball target line or maybe just inside it. Elbows lightly attached, bent from your hip joint and then just letting the putter swing back and through. Beautiful, so having a, a, a little bit of feedback for those of you maybe haven't developed, uh, say some, some outline in your stroke to this point, very key, it's gonna help you really dial in the alignment, the ball position, it's gonna help get the setup consistently in the same spot each time. Let's hit a few more. So the one suggestion we'd have for most recreational players, before you go out, maybe hit say 10 or 12 putts from three or four feet. A comfortable distance, three feet's fine. Build that confidence. Uh, just getting the setup nicely dialed in here. You can see Andrew's able to square up his blade to the red line behind the ball, get his eye line in a good spot there. And notice with these short putts, one of the keys is really keeping the head nice and steady. We don't want too much movement in the head here, otherwise it'll distort the directional aspect of the blade there. So keep the head steady on these short ones. Beautiful. Love it. Any any thoughts here in uh, terms of... For me, working with the mirror to uh, make a good point of keeping that head very steady uh, I'm watching my eyes all the time so if the eyes are moving around I'm focusing on my left eye staying a little bit more where the ball was right and then from there I can see any wasted motion or anything like that so um, everything here with the mirror for me was just focusing on keeping the head very balanced in the, in the stroke Right, and, excellent. and then obviously I'm going to take that away, move away from the from the training aid and start to hit some putts without it to recreate Ab those feelings. Absolutely. So 8 to 10 putts on your little training gizmo. And then as Andrew said, you can move around the hole, maybe make another 8 to 10 putts. Again, 3 feet's fine. If you're rolling those 3 footers in confidently, I find that your 4, 5 and 6 footers, it definitely feeds into the confidence on those as well. So let's hit a couple now without the mirror. And again, now, you're, now you've established that sort of awareness over the ball. A little more pressure now. <laughs> Maybe just uh, right center here. Head nice and steady. Boom, so really able to transfer the feel from the mirror into just moving around the hole because you want to get a hole that has just a touch of slope there, Andrew. So this one here, obviously moving right to left. So you get some uphill, some downhill, some right to left, left to right, creating a, a bit of the random and realism that you'll feel out on the golf course. Beautiful job. Very, very good. So one of the, one of the other keys that I think is very important, especially at the club and recreational level, is your read and your speed on your long putts. I think you know, as we said, with the best players in the world, they're at about a 75, 80% clip inside eight feet. Outside of that is the rest of the putts they make. They're making some of those opportune putts, say, in between, say, what, eight and 20 feet? Yeah, and the, the golfer watches TV, and they think that all the PGA guys watching make every putt. Well, we're usually watching the top 10 okay. players in the field. Uh, strokes gained right now is a big thing, and, and a lot of the my junior players will hit it to 20 feet and go, oh, I missed every putt. Well, so do the tour players, you know, that they certainly clean up in this range. Right. But when it gets to the longer stuff, uh, I like to have players 
make sure the ball's tracking, give it a chance. You know, so if it's running at the hole at the right speed, if it's going six feet past, obviously it's the wrong speed. Yeah. Tough. But if it's dying in there and it's, it's finishing where you, you know, I like to say that you don't have to mark it again. You know, that's the, that's the, the, the right speed. Even if you're a little off on the line, work on the speed on some of the longer putts. Yeah, absolutely. And, and to that end, that line concept, uh, depending on the greens at your home course or the courses in your area, uh, certainly for those opportune putts and even for the shorter ones, but those mid-range putts coming out outside of 8 to 10 feet, working up to about 20 feet and then into your lag putts 20 feet and thereafter. Uh, if you're struggling on those, one of the key elements I find, Andrew, that helps my players is to overread them a little bit, play a little bit more break than they usually would. It almost gets them dying it to the hole, their proximity is a little bit closer. So I think that's really key. So why don't we? Um, I'll grab the camera sure. and we'll sort of, I'll be behind the live camera and you can, we've got a right to left putt set up at 20 feet, 30, four, uh, 20, 30, 40 feet. And again, if they finish their little, you know, little two, three minutes on their short range putts with perhaps the eyeline mirror, uh, a few short ones, they can move into say hitting a couple of putts from each of those distances just to really, you know, get your, get your stroke feel for those distances, your feel and finesse dialed in. So let's have you jump in here. We'll switch the camera around. Here we go. I'll be the cameraman here. All right, so we've set this up here. Andrew's got a nice little right to left here, 20 feet. I think one of the, one of the keys here that we've talked about in the past with our players to make sure they get a good visual connection, Andrew, to the hole. So really allowing the eyes to go there so you can equate the length and weight in your stroke to the distance. So we're going to play a little bit more break. Not bad, not bad. Would have liked to have seen that maybe a touch higher. Let's go back to say 30 feet. But inside, inside your 10% range there, which is always a good sort of, uh, you know, range in terms of the overall distance. So from 20 feet, we want to be inside say two feet. Now we're out to 30 feet, and we're going to cozy this up. Let's play a budget, a little bit more break on this right to left swing putt here. There it is. Come on down. Beautiful touch. Beautiful. Well inside 10%. Always like it, Andrew, when your playing partners throw the ball back, eh? <laughs> yeah, so if you don't have to mark it again, <laughs> it's uh, fucking... Now, Andrew, as you, you yeah, as you line this up, Give me some feedback in terms of what, when you're looking and lining things up, to you use your feet a little bit like aim point, to use a blend of your eyes and feet. What do you feel helps uh, you read putts well? A little, little bit more, perhaps old school. I, I, I've always used the, the thought of throwing water across the green. Mm -hmm. And where's that going to funnel down to? So we know that, and we can look around, maybe see some drains or... Um, there's two on the left there towards the hole, so I know everything, that's the low point, everything's going to work down towards that side. So I know I've got some right to left parts. Um, I'm looking at colours, so if it's if it's a darker green, lighter green, um, here in Florida the grain's going to play a big big part too. If I'm putting into the grain, it's going to be quite slow. Yeah. Down grain, I've, I've got a better chance of getting a, a good roll, but then... Perhaps even past the hole if it's down grey and I give it a little too much, could be four, five, six feet past. Mm -hmm. um, so this then, is this is a right to left putt, just gently downhill. So the grain is is lying away from us, so we can play a little bit more break on this one. And then start line. So I know it's right to left, and I've pictured there's two spots on the green. Um, there's, there's, a, a marking here and a marking here and um, I've often been criticized for not moving some of those because it's like well what if I hit it it's gonna um, sure if it's dead on the line I'm gonna walk out there and move it but for me I actually like that little uh, ball mark there just to the left which gives me a high point of keeping it to the right of that Excellent. So I'm gonna leave it alone um, I'm not gonna walk up and move it because if I walk up move it now I've got nothing to kind of have as a, as a buffer there. Mm -hmm. So um, as I walk in, the eyes are going from, from the ball and I'm almost creating this pro tracer. Um, I like to feel that 
I can read pots better when I'm when I'm over the ball in this situation rather than behind or you know that that's this is almost the first read you know I look in here as I get in here I want to play this a little higher now so this is definitely if I hit this I'm in trouble I should be up here excellent so yeah so so you're picking that early intermediate as we'll almost call it your your aim point and then letting the slope out near the hole just take it correct and that speed beautiful so that, um, I'm letting this almost creating a, a pro tracer mm -hmm. you're know, trying to see this and then as I make that I'm gonna blend the the length of the practice swing to what I've got out here in front of me beautiful so I'm not gonna make a, a little three-foot swing like we were on the on the eye line I'm gonna actually try and match up the length of the swing to the length of the pot excellent yeah um, I think that's so key you see a lot of players put their head down here and don't pay attention to that distance out uh, there. So, this way and then step in and yeah, something completely different. Exactly. So, love it. So you got your feel locked in. Couple of rehearsals here. See that start line, as you say. A high start line, and then we'll let the slope take care of tilting it toward the hole. That's a beautiful read right there, my friend. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Love it. A lot at the end. That is fantastic. So. Safe to say, look, I mean, for the higher handicap, three put avoidance is key, right? Just sure. be just Absolutely. being good, just being good inside, say what, uh, three, four feet. That means that means you've got a six foot margin here. You can be short inside three feet, you can be long left or right. So that's a six foot wide circle around the hole. That's a that's a good sort of measure in terms of giving yourself a comfortable two putt, right? Yeah. And there's only real, I mean, we see players come out and practice hours on end, but if we can get to the masses where you're good from inside five feet, spend time getting inside five feet from here, you know, so you work on your 40, 50 foot pots and then just really work on getting in the hole from five feet. Yeah, and I find as well, Andrew, I find when you start to get lagged, like you've just lagged that 40 footer inside a foot, I find then those, you make a few more of those opportune mid-range putts, 12, 15, 18 feet seem a lot closer to the hole. All right, let's see it. Come on, 50 feet. I'm going to hold you to, uh, I think you can comfortably get. sneak down and that ball in case I hold this. Nice. Well, we've got a beautiful day here, folks, at our world headquarters at Champions Gate, and really appreciate you joining us. It's, um, as I say, it's a great cause today at the uh, world's biggest golf lesson. So we are delighted that you've joined us. And hopefully there's a, a couple of really good nuggets in here that um, we're able to give you on your putting here. So Andrew connecting visually to the target, seeing his start line there, nice high one. Oh, that's, that's a really good read again. Peace. Love it. Come on. Hey, from 50 feet inside, just around two feet, my friend. Not bad. Give yourself a round of applause. That was nice. So let's uh, let's see if we can just switch the camera around here. Let me get you in focus. I'll jump back in with you. There we go. Sorry for moving the camera around so much. We're obviously uh, staff-wise, we have to be careful who's out here and keeping our distance. But uh, here we go. Andrew, that was uh, that was that was very nice. Thank you, Sean. Co COVID you. elbows. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's. It's, it's a real pleasure to join all our colleagues uh, in the game of golf around the world today. I think from, uh, we did a, David and I did a, a, a webinar the other day for all our colleagues in Italy. So a shout out to the Italian PGA. I know in Italy you guys have uh, really had a, a tough go of it, but hey, be patient. Uh, we'll get through this together. Um, and golf's one of those games that uh, it crosses so many borders around the world so we're delighted to obviously make a, a contribution to today's effort along with all our colleagues around the world and certainly to all of you following us we wish you and your families and your friends safe passage uh, let's be smart over these next few months let's put this let's uh, knock this COVID-19 out of our systems and off the planet hopefully and uh, 
golf will be there for another many more hundreds of years, I'm yes, sure. And, we're and looking forward to getting out there and playing. Absolutely, and dialing in your putting. Look, if, if, if for nothing else, if your golf course is open, and if you can, you know, have a little walk up to the course, bring the putter with you, um, get out there, work on a couple of simple mechanics, you have a little teaching aid, you know, focus on a couple of key elements in terms of working on your short range putts with a bit of slope, working on your speed and read on your lag putts, eliminate those three putts, and uh, I think when we're all back on the golf courses, everybody should be putting well. Might be better players. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, thanks again for joining, um, and we wish you and your families all the best, and uh, be safe. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, and I uh, hope you picked something out today. Stay safe, everyone.